directed energy weapons, once the stuff of science fiction, are now a reality. The Pentagon has invested over $1 billion in laser weapon development since 2014. These weapons use concentrated light beams traveling at light speed to destroy targets. Unlike bullets or missiles, lasers don't require ammunition, just electrical power. The U.S. military aims to deploy operational laser weapons by 2025, with current prototypes already achieving 150 kilowatt outputs capable of burning through steel. The U.S. Navy has been at the forefront of marine laser weapon development. Their laser weapon system, LAS, was first deployed in 2014 aboard the USS Ponce. The current Odin system can disable drones and small boats at ranges up to 1.6 kilometers. These ship-mounted lasers draw power directly from the vessel's electrical systems, allowing nearly unlimited shots. In 2022, the USS Portland successfully shot down a cruise missile with its 150-kilowatt laser, proving combat viability. Compared to conventional naval guns, laser weapons offer significant advantages. They engage targets at light speed with pinpoint accuracy, eliminating the need for complex ballistic calculations, while a standard 5-inch naval gun costs $800 to $1,000 per round, laser shots cost merely $1 to $2 in electricity. However, lasers currently lack the raw destructive power of explosives, making them better suited for precision strikes against drones, missiles, and sensors rather than heavily armored targets. Recent tests demonstrate laser weapons' combat effectiveness against modern threats, in 2021, a U.S. Navy laser destroyed a drone flying at 300 miles per hour in under two seconds of engagement. The system tracked and engaged the target autonomously. Thermal cameras captured the drone's critical components overheating before catastrophic failure. Such tests prove lasers can counter the growing threat of drone swarms, which overwhelm traditional defenses through sheer numbers. Despite their advantages, Laser weapons face significant limitations. Heavy rain, fog, or smoke can scatter the beam, reducing effectiveness by up to 90%. The systems also require enormous power. A 150 kilowatt laser needs about 400 kilowatts of electrical input, equivalent to powering 300 homes. Current naval systems rely on ship generators, limiting sustained firing. Research continues into more efficient power systems and adaptive optics to compensate for atmospheric interference. The laser arms race is global. China unveiled its Silent Hunter system in 2022, claiming a 100 kilowatt output capable of burning through 5 centimeters of steel at 800 meters. Russia has tested laser systems in Syria, though details remain classified. These developments mirror Cold War dynamics, where technological superiority could shift naval dominance. Intelligence suggests China may be developing ship-mounted lasers for its new Type 055 destroyers, potentially altering Pacific power balances. Modern laser weapons integrate advanced AI for target acquisition and tracking. Machine learning algorithms can predict target trajectories and compensate for ship movement in rough seas. The U.S. Navy's Helios system combines laser weapons with the Aegis radar network, enabling multi-target engagement. AI reduces human reaction time from seconds to milliseconds, critical when intercepting supersonic missiles. These systems continuously improve through simulated engagements, becoming more effective with each iteration. In a simulated future engagement, laser weapons would serve as a ship's first line of defense. As enemy missiles approach, Lasers would engage the most threatening targets at light speed, prioritizing warheads over decoys. Simultaneously, they could disable adversary sensors and communication arrays. However, current lasers cannot replace all conventional weapons. They would operate alongside missiles and guns in a layered defense system, each covering different threat envelopes and operating conditions. Laser weapons raise important ethical questions. Their precision reduces collateral damage but lowers the threshold for using force. Some argue they could make war more likely by reducing risks to attackers. Strategically, they may shift power toward technologically advanced nations, creating new arms control challenges. The 1995 Protocol on Blinding Lasers doesn't cover these systems, leaving a legal gray area. 
Military analysts debate whether lasers will stabilize or destabilize global security. The next frontier may be orbital laser systems. The U.S. Space Force is exploring lasers for satellite defense and ballistic missile interception. Without atmospheric interference, space-based lasers could achieve unprecedented range and precision. However, such systems risk triggering an arms race in space and face political opposition. Current estimates suggest operational space lasers remain 10 to 15 years away, but prototypes may emerge sooner. Their development could fundamentally change not just naval warfare, but the entire nature of military conflict.